Today I'm gonna show you how you can make one of those delicious soups that is perfect for chilly winter nights and that is split pea soup which is a staple soup in Germany and it is so hearty and it's actually really inexpensive and super easy to make with no fancy ingredients and let me show you how you can make that. I'll be using really good split peas. I'll be leaving links for where you can find these in the description box below this video, but they are the main ingredient in this soup. Here I have, I don't know, three, four slices of bacon, and a lot of people in Germany actually just cook the bacon. I don't like it when it's um, kind of soft and mushy. I like it when it's crisp and you can't taste the fat so much. So what I do is I cut the bacon in really thin strips. And this recipe is pretty flexible. I'll be giving you ideas for amounts and measurements, but you can always do that a little bit to taste. If you're a bacon lover, you can always add a little bit more. And I add it to my hot cast iron. Well, it's getting hot. I already turned on the heat below. I'll let this cook over here. until most of the fat is released and the bacon is a little bit crisp. While this is going on, I am cutting a whole onion. I'll let the bacon go just a little bit longer. I like the fat to be rendered completely. And then again, I can prep the remaining vegetables, my carrots. And don't throw these out. I always like to use them for bone broth. And I keep them in the freezer until I'm ready to use the little cup bits and pieces. And here's a tool that I really like. It's this vegetable peeler, but it sits in your hand versus something that has a handle like this. I find this really easy to use. I'm shaking up on my bacon. I think this is good. You can always let it really crisp up and let it brown or do it whichever you like and then adding my diced onion to the bacon in the bacon fat. Just to saute the onion. And we want that translucent. That gives me time to peel my potatoes. And again, I love this because you only will peel very thin and you're not cutting off a whole lot of the actual potato. And the same for the celery. Turn the heat on. So now at this point, we can add a lot of water. And the split peas, as you can see, I have soaked them in water. Um, not quite overnight, but I started this morning and it's later in the afternoon when I'm making this. You can perfectly use the regular split peas just like that, the, the dry ones as you buy them. However, I think you're gonna cut down on the cooking time quite a bit to soak them. You can also use, if you don't have split peas, you can also use frozen peas 
or canned peas. They're my least favorite, the frozen work, but they're not gonna be making the soup as creamy as these guys. I'm going to go into my garden really quick and get a bay leaf. So I'll toss a bay leaf in there and I'll put a lid on. And I like to, I'll cook the peas for just about 15 20 minutes. In the meantime, I can continue cutting my vegetables into dice. Here it's been, this has been cooking for 15 minutes. And what I like to do at this point, I like to add some bouillon. You could also use your own homemade stock. I'm notoriously out, so that's why I like to use this. And I already know I need a little bit more water. So we'll have to bring this back to boil. And then I'm adding all my vegetables, my potatoes. I did cut up the head pieces of the celery. This is why I love having a big cutting board. It makes it so much easier. And once I bring this back to a boil, then I will let this simmer for another 30 minutes or so until the peas are really soft and they're going to start falling apart, but that's part of, part of this dish. And depending on your stove, you may have to check occasionally to make sure it's not burning at the bottom of the pot. And then I will start my started my simmer plate over here, put a lid on and once this is boiling, I'll move this over here and simmer it until the peas are really mushy. All we need to do now is just adjust the taste with a little bit of salt and pepper. As you can see, the color is not quite that pretty anymore. It has become almost like a brownish green, like a muddled green, like an olive green. If you want that color to be brighter, you can always add some uh, pureed spinach to it or pureed nettles for a little bit of a green color, but you know, the taste is so good that I don't really mind. And the last thing we do is we add the sausages, and you don't want to really cook them. These are organic grass-fed franks from Trader Joe's that I really like, and they have a fairly good price. You can also just cut them into little pieces, but um, I like to keep them whole so that everybody can get the right amount of sausage that they want. just letting the sausage heat up in the soup. I want to give this a quick taste. Mm. For me, mm. I have childhood memories. <laughs> It is so good. I actually want to eat the whole bowl right now, but I'll wait until I'm done recording this video. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I have a whole lot more of traditional classic German recipes right in this playlist over here. I'll see you in those videos. Thank you so much for watching and joining me in my kitchen.